Amigo. What's up, ZTR fam? I'm out here with you. With Mr. Migo. See him running over there. Let me clean this camera off. That's much better. Alright, so that's your boy Mr. Migo. 10-year-old veteran, breeding dog, stud, super stud. And we're making a video today about hip tests and all that good stuff. Hip tests. Oh, I hate when people call me when I'm on. Hope y'all can hear me. But anyway, about hip tests or whatnot. Uh I'll be real quick. I'm not gonna talk a whole lot about it. But one thing, you got a lot of breeders that talk about uh hip tests and all that type of stuff. Don't really guarantee a whole lot. Um, uh, that's why well, it don't guarantee nothing. It's just a good standard or a good way to tell if it's a potential or more of a potential for your dogs to have uh um um, hip dysplasia and some other things and the elbows and joints and all that type of stuff so um, but a, a good uh, good way to uh, uh, a good way to what's up Miguel? a good way to help determine if your dog or your puppy is gonna have hip dysplasia is ask the breeder go look at his parents the dog right there 10 years old strong and he look at him. watch him turn the camera around we go get it He's still running around, playing like he would now. She gonna go take the ball, I should've put her up. Hey, pig, give me that ball. Give me that ball, pig. Pig, give me that ball. Good girl. Yeah, let me see. Ah, 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 ah. Don't see doing Good girl, come here. Come here. Let me go. So this is, this is the father of the Titans. He's an old one. And he done been around, he been around the corner a couple times. So I kind of let him do what he want to do. He don't really listen to me a lot no more. He figured he done, he didn't, he done did what he need to do. Migo, here you go, ball. Yes. Ready, Migo, right here, buddy. <laughs> Migo, Migo. So this is that's the father of Diesel, Texas, and all the rest of those Titans. Migo, here, watch your boy, watch your boy. Red, get him, Migo. And so, like I said. Now, the only thing I'm trying to tell y'all is that a good source of whether your dog is going to have a good chance of having hip replacement. Look at the parents. Uh, does that breeder have a, a male dog or a female dog that's the parents of your dog that are still uh, walking around, getting around good, not having problems? Uh, good source of indication is right there. It ain't always coming down to that paperwork. Uh, sometimes you just take a look at what you got going on right here in the yard or in the yard, and that's all you need. But I'm gonna take it off of me, put it on Migo. Like I said, he's 10 years old. He done done this thing. He's just a big boy. I gotta keep him separated from his brothers. I mean, from his two sons, cause they'll jump on him. He, Migo actually started it. Uh, <laughs> for some, Migo don't like no males in the yard other than him. So, let him strut while y'all watch him do his thing. I'm gonna try and stay out his way. Let him operate in his own environment. He walking over here to the females right now. That's what he like, huh? A cinnamon roll from where? Yeah, go ahead. Migo. So, this big boy Migo. Ah. Still getting around good. Oh man, oh man. Migo, and so I will tell you that Migo has had his hips tested. Um, he's one of the only few dogs that are here that have their hips tested. But Migo has had his hips tested. I didn't do it. Um, he came like that. Um, I probably wouldn't have done it. Um, um, but that's it, man. I said I was going to stop talking, and I didn't. But I just wanted y'all to kind of use your head a little bit. Um, like I said, those those hip tests don't guarantee anything. Uh, I just leave it at that. Migo, come on. Come on. Hey, let's go get some clean water. Why are you drinking all that? Come on, boy. Come on, come on big boy. See him, see him kind of watching his boys. <laughs> he, he, he do not like his sons. 
Dallas and Diesel over there. That's just a temporary little holding station while he's out. I'll put them over there so they can they don't bother him. Back in his day, he may have been able to take one of them at a time, but them boys over there are something rough. Yep, and old Migo still produces. Uh, like I said, he's the father of the Titans and the Black 2.0 litter. AKC recognizes the the uh, the male dogs from eight months up to 12 months. Anything that comes off of them is legit or legal. And then for the females, it's nine, nine months up to 12 years of age that you can register a dog off of uh, a litter. So with that, that's basically saying if Migo was 12, I couldn't... I couldn't breed them anymore. So, oh, he look at him. He just want to lay down in the water. I feel you, bro. It's hard being black, ain't it? <laughs> Ooh, that heat. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. You doing all right? I ain't going to bother you, man. Good boy. This is one everybody, everybody just want to see. And I'm just letting them hang out. Now, Migo normally likes to be to itself. Um. When I got him, he, uh, the owner that had him, uh, wasn't pleased with him. I liked him. I thought he was perfect. So I took him, and he's been mine ever since. Uh, but he likes to be to himself. He wasn't raised around a whole lot of dogs. So uh, if he wasn't in here, if he wasn't sitting right here out here in the yard by himself, he would be off in that, uh, in that cage, just chilling off in the corner. Uh, that puppy on the left right there, that's Wanda. That's one of his daughters. Uh, Mally back there is one of his daughters. Which we'll be getting rid of Mally soon. Give her to a good home. What's up, buddy? You want me to come play with me? Come on. Come, here. come on. Come on, old man. Where are you going? Migo was a tall dog and uh, a muscular dog. Let me see if I can. Okay. Well, I was gonna show y'all. I was gonna show y'all how tall he was, but he didn't sit down. Now. He trying to trying to cool off. Old man, ten years old. I still think he got all his teeth. <laughs> he still got all his teeth. <laughs> he still get around good. He's still he's still making healthy babies. Uh, throw that ball if he's interested in it and throw it, but he usually won't do it unless he got some competition. Like y'all seen him from this ago, he really wasn't too interested in it. But that's, that's old Migo. He's uh, from, if you care about bloodlines, uh, uh, from that Moby Dick uh, bloodline. It's a real old bloodline. Nothing significant about it, but uh, it's your girl Saucy, upcoming breeding female. That's her sister Tina, the new alpha of the yard. Then you got, matter of fact, that, that dog right there, that's Vegas. Vegas! Vegas! That's Vegas. That's one of Migos' offspring from the Black 2.0 litter. One of his daughters. So those are both of his daughters from two different litters. It's two top litters. Black 2.0 and the uh, Titan litter. Black 2.0, Titan. All uh, right. Saucy, I mean, Vegas is about nine months. That dog there is five months. Uh, still in your glory, bro. See, he wants to get back here with them girls. So y'all see, right here, this is where he got into it with one of his brothers. I mean, one of his sons, tore his ear up. Last time they got into it, and see, he got a little scabs on. But, um, and it happens. Not all the time you can control them, but you just got to be ready. Have your medicines and stuff ready and have your, your doc on call. Yes, sir. Big me go. Old man. Don't follow me. There you go. Do your thing. Do your thing. Do your thing. 
Do you think? She got something white. Let's see if you'll chase the ball. Look what I got, Migo. Look. Migo. So he ain't interested too much. <laughs> I don't blame you, bro. You done did your time. But that's the man right there, man. That's Poppy. Lots of Titan dogs and black 2.0 litters. All right, y'all. Turn the camera. So, all right. Till next time, I hope y'all enjoyed that. Try and get a little bit better on these videos as we're doing. Till next time. Peace.